Hello lovely beings, welcome back again. My name is Cindy. So for today's pick a card, we're going to take a look at any open messages about your twin flame journey. So you can still watch and hear this reading even though you don't have anybody specific in mind, okay? So just focus on the question, what can I know and what should I be aware in this twin flame connection or journey? And so since we are talking about twin flames, over the time of me doing Doing tarot readings and spiritual videos as well a lot of you ask me many kinds of questions specifically about twin flame and so not long ago I actually posted a Q&A post here on my YouTube and on Instagram as well where I told you that I wanted to create a video a Q&A video specifically answering your questions about twin flame so I just did that video and I already uploaded that on my other channel at Amorinet so if you want to know more about twin flames and especially some you know really interesting questions that I will be answering in that video that can also be helpful and insightful for you as well you can just check that out okay and also make sure that you check out and follow me on my Instagram as well if you have any recommendations if you have any suggestion at all just let me know okay so make sure you check out that video for the twin flame Q&A and I will see you to the reading and if you would like to book a personal reading all complete information is always down below in the description but as of right now I will be be available again later in September 2020 okay so with that being said let's get on to choosing the piles and I will be using my own artwork again as always for you to choose your pile so focus on whichever artwork that calls to you from number one two and three All right, so everybody who picked pile number one. Now let's take a look what messages can we know about your twin flame. So we have only one card from the mermaid and magic, magical mermaid and dolphin oracle and we have, have faith. Oh, pile number one. I already feel it. You definitely know who your twin flame is and a lot of you already dealt with that person, okay? For quite a long time actually. I'm picking up that for some of you, you may be in, you were, okay? You were in a relationship or, or some type of connection with your twin flame for at least three years, even up to five years. Like, it, it's been a while, okay? It's been a while. It's been a long journey. And you are still in a separation from your twin flame. Now, for some few of you, just recently, you actually met your twin flame again, you talked to them, and you are actually back in connection, uh, back in communication with your twin flame, but it's not as it used to be anymore. It's, it's just not the way it was before. And I feel a lot of you began to question if this person is truly my twin flame or not, okay? So whoever it is that you reconnected back from the past, I feel that now you are not too sure if that is actually your actual twin flame or not. So let's take a look at more cards here. I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle and the Daily Guidance Angel Oracle. So let us take a look. We have See Only Love, What Do You Desire, and cleanse and detoxify. Oh, there is still a long journey of healing. But here's the thing, nobody can expect a perfect healing journey. We are always in a journey of healing, change, transformation, and improvement. So if you ever feel like you're just tired of trying too hard to heal this, then don't worry because your spirit guides want to let you know that it's okay and in fact it's important for you to also take a break from this connection because it's just getting too much, you know? If you feel like no matter what you do to heal is just not working out, 
then maybe it's just time for you to take a break from this connection altogether. Maybe it's time to take a break from trying too hard to heal because like I said, maybe you have been pushing yourself way too hard. Now, I know it may sound contradictive, but this is the message that I'm picking up. Now, a lot of people say or they maybe they think that by focusing on healing and healing and healing can actually you know resolve the situation but just sometimes just sometimes the pain is too much and you actually need to take a break and find some bit of at least a healthy distraction that you can do in your life like for example focus on a hobby focus on your career go out there you know get out there with friends hang out have a nice social life okay now other than that i am picking up that maybe you actually do need to find a good mentor okay a mentor or a life coach or a therapist that can truly help you in the situation because a lot of you are just dealing with incredible intense pain okay like pain and uh, pain in a more disappointed okay like I, I feel you're very very disappointed and you are very confused about this connection and you don't know who to ask you don't know where to go you just have no freaking idea what's going on and your higher self your angels your spirit guides they really want you to just take a break for now because it's just it's just too much okay it's too much for you the the moment later on where you can have more stability and a sense of calmness and what do you call serenity serenity yeah that's the word right serenity it's going to be even actually it's going to be better for you to focus back on this healing twin flame journey because if you try to push it now right now it's, it's just not going to work because the, the wound the pain is just too much okay seriously i don't know what else to say but i feel your pain it's too much it's way too intense and way too overwhelming and so they want you to focus on the the love and the compassion energy in your own life so right now your spirit guides the universe is asking you be asking you back sorry asking you back what is it that you truly desire what is it that you really want in your own love life in your own happiness what are your goals for your future for your career okay they want you to focus on in that now other than that i'm picking up that you may be seeing lilies or any white flowers that can actually be a significant sign or message from up above so pay attention sorry excuse me <clears throat> <clears throat> I almost had a hiccup. Oh my goodness, sorry. This often happens whenever I am picking up really intense and like really deep information from spirits. So yeah, cleanse and detoxify. Mm, sorry. <clears throat> you really need to cleanse out this energy because this is, oh my goodness, th this is giving you a whole freaking headache seriously let me tell you this is giving you a whole freaking headache and you really i don't know how many times i'm i repeat the word really 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 because i have no idea what else to say but i feel your pain and you've had enough of it okay you've had enough so let's take a look at more cards here from the romance angel okay so we have trust and stay optimistic about your love life I really really like this again I said the word really but here's the thing so your spirit guides want you to still stay optimistic and trust in this journey now I know a lot of you are watching because because I feel different pathways and different informations coming in so again like I said always please remember to use your own intuition okay now with this trust card i feel that for some of you for just very few of you i have to say the person you have in mind maybe they're actually not your twin flame they could be karmic or they could be soulmates but 
they are not necessarily your actual twin flame and there is a reason why you question it now this would probably only resonate if you really question about it okay if you really not sure and you keep questioning over and over and over again is this person my twin flame is this person my twin flame is this person my twin flame then maybe they are actually not your tf okay but if maybe sometimes you have a little bit of you know that doubt that worrisome thoughts but then it just goes away immediately well that is an indication that it could be just your fear trauma or ego and the person that you're inquiring about is actually your legit real uh, twin flame okay so you really need to trust your intuition and again i know this is a little bit of a mix uh, information and message here because a lot of you are watching okay and i am picking up a little bit of a different energy here so please use your own intuition I, but i feel for the majority of you you are dealing with a soulmate actually not your actual twin flame it's a soulmate a very intense soulmate that may feel may seem or act like a twin flame but actually not and so whatever is going on in your love life you will have better explanation and answers through spirit towards the next five months okay I'm, I'm sensing five or six months so okay especially if you are watching by the time that I just upload this so the, the next year 2021 that is when you are going to know who your twin flame is actually so this could be a new person this could be somebody that you already know in your life but you maybe you forgot okay i know it's a mixed message but but hang on okay hang hang on here with me so stay optimistic about your love life you will definitely be receiving the right guidance and answer about who your tf truly is okay when you travel that is very specific but i feel like i have to say it when you travel when you take a trip somewhere or when you when you are called to go on a business trip maybe you have a career change okay a change in direction in your own lifestyle maybe that is when you will receive more answers and guidance about who your tf is and you will meet that person now i feel that ugh, there's just a lot of hesitation and yeah honestly i just have to say maybe you just have to take a break that's that's what i'm picking up from your spirit guides and so it's important for you to trust yourself focus in your own life for now because if this is getting too much then this whole thing may just pull your your focus away from your own life because you know your your own life your own goal is still uh, the priority right and so now last but not least if, if you feel like you're just about to give up you just don't want to deal with this anymore you don't have any hope your spirit wants to let you know that you can still have an optimistic outlook about your love life in general okay now i know i know not a lot of people want to hear this especially when it comes to twin flame because this is a very very personal thing indeed but i just have to say not everybody will eventually end up with their twin flame i'm very sorry i know this can be triggering i know it can be very disappointing but i just feel that i have to say it because your spirit guides want to let you know that again maybe the person you're inquiring is not your tf and even if they are maybe you just need to go on your separate ways for the time being okay so that is your reading pile number one i hope this brings you some bit of clarity and information at least let me know down below in the comments and i will be back okay see you again so pile number two let's take a look what messages we can know about your twin flame so we have quite a lot of cards here 
Oh, I feel that for a lot of you who's watching pile number two, you already have a long history with your person. I feel that throughout many previous past lifetimes, you already dealt with your person for sure. So yeah, this is a twin flame. If you have been questioning, if you have any suspicion if this person is my twin flame or not this reading is confirming that your person is your real tf okay so we have the card protection mm, straight away a lot of you both you and your twin flame have been dealing with a lot of psychic attacks it, it could literally be from dark entities shadow entities and also from other people who actually you know do some type of voodoo or dark magic okay even some of them may have did may have done a blood ritual a blood sacrifice now i know i know pile number two is already starting off really freaking scary and morbid but let me tell you you are protected you and your twin flame and this connection is protected by the divine okay by pure divine love light and all the power of the source of the universe no one and nothing can break apart this connection this is true twin flame okay like i said again if you have been suspicious about this person if you have been questioning is is this person my tf or not this is a confirmation it is because the the reason why this card comes up it's because i have heard a lot of stories of people experiencing psychic attacks when they are in a true twin flame connection and i feel like this is your situation okay so don't worry you your tf and in this uh, and uh, sorry oh my goodness i'm getting way too excited this connection is definitely protected and guided by your spirit guides by your higher self I see that you and your TF is surrounded by a lot of powerful and amazing gods, goddesses, deities, spirit guides, spirit animal that are guiding you. Okay, so if you are in separation from your TF, you will definitely reunite with them again. Okay, now I know this may be a little bit triggering, but I feel this is really sad i feel that for some of you you have gone through oh quite a quite a hectic and a big drama with your twin flame but the drama the the issue it's not because of you it's not really because of your twin flame but because of whatever attacks whatever manipulation that happened okay i just feel there's a lot of issue that is being caused in this twin flame connection from outside forces from other people from other dark shadow entities as well okay so like i said this connection is protected but there was some bit of karma and lesson spiritually that you do need to learn that you need to finish including uh, you know your your twin flame themselves as well but now now that things are getting clear up you and your tf will get together will reunite and finally protect and support each other in this connection and move on forward into the future together physically okay this is physically i do feel like this is not that spiritual union type of thing anymore no this is real actual physical union i feel that you and your twin flame do have a purpose together and you do have to be together in order to protect and further support each other because i i have to say i feel a lot of crazy attacks over here you may be experiencing a lot of nightmares maybe you experience some bit of like weird influx of energy mood swings and health issues that maybe even your therapist or your doctors cannot really understand what the hell is going on with your body this can also be the issue that's happening with your twin flame as well so if that is the case it could be because of those attacks okay and whatever psychic attacks happen it can also be the trigger if you already have some mental issues as well for example you do have some anxiety or depression but those psychic attacks they are making it worse 
and without you realizing it you are projecting that out onto your twin flame so this is really sad but i feel that a lot of you had a huge fight with your twin flame because it it was being manipulated okay that energy was being influenced by outside forces because people or entities or anything okay they they don't want this union to happen and the reason why they don't want that it's because you like i said this is proof that you are in a real legit twin flame connection and when twin flames get together when they are in union in soul and emotion and in in the physical realm as well they are very powerful energetically very very powerful and it can even heal and lift up the energy of the entire planet it's a whole contribution when twin flames get together it really is that powerful and the energy it's very powerful to the point it can even affect the outcome of the future of our generation because it's it's crazy like i i don't know i don't know where i am going with this because there's so many information your spirit guides want to let you know and this is a very esoteric message okay i gotta say this is not general message anymore this is very highly esoteric so i feel for a lot of you who's watching poll number two you are aware of this type of things and you can actually understand what i'm saying okay what spirits are trying to let me know and me translating the messages so now let's take a look at the daily guidance angel oracle we have blessing in disguise we have life purpose yes you and your twin flame definitely has a life purpose together we have the law of attraction mm -hmm. and then we have giving and receiving you and your twin flame have a purpose together to do in this lifetime whether together as a love partner or even as a business partner but i feel for the majority of you you and your tf ha uh, blah 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 <laughs> both of you have to be together because you do have a very important where is it important life purpose together in this lifetime to uplift humanity to heal and inspire other people you may be even doing some type of charity or a group work or, or like you know something like that together with your tf later in the future so this connection is like best friend forever lovers forever and business partners forever power couple type of relationship which i think is really cool and that's what i see what's coming for you excuse me <clears throat> mm, i almost had a hiccup this happens every time i'm channeling really deep information so with this law of attraction and the give and receive this is another reminder that if you have been worried if this relationship will work out or not well it's going to work out because there will be uh, there will come a time that you and your tf get on the same page on the same balance on the same pathway okay and whatever unfairness that you feel that you experienced before it's it there's justice that will come okay there's going to be a balance there's going to be solution in this connection but then again i i feel i i would say if up to 80 or even 90 percent of the issue in your tf connection is because of outside influence it's a third party situation and this is not really so much about somebody cheating or betraying no like i said this is manipulation from other people even magic or even dark entities that literally attack you uh, psychic psychically supernaturally so the law of attraction is talking about that once you get together with your twin flame in union both of you are going to literally be the power couple magnet of abundance prosperity and money like legit money i i feel that in the future you and your 
you and your TF is going to be so freaking rich. Like, let me tell you, you may be even popular, maybe a celebrity, a blogger, influencer, something like that. So we have more cards from the Romance Angel and we have Soulmate. We have Express Your Love. We have Worth Waiting For and then we have Release Your Ex. This is a very specific message I'm picking up for, for some of you, the person that, oh my goodness, that is a really loud motorcycle in the background, the person that may be doing that dark magic or even blood sacrifice magic towards you and your TF, maybe your ex or your twin flames ex, because they are so freaking jealous and envy, not jealous, envious, grammar correction, they're very envious of this connection i suddenly feel really really lightheaded right now oh seriously it's almost like i'm about to faint this this energy is heavy it's it's freaking heavy i'm not going to lie oh i never sugarcoat no and it's freaking heavy oh my goodness what the hell is going on somebody right now as if as of right now right now as you are hearing this reading Somebody is trying to do another magic towards you and your twin flame, so be very careful. But yeah, don't worry, you are protected. But if you know how to better protect yourself, to do a protection spell, to shield yourself, to work with your ancestor, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, go ahead, please work and connect with them. Now, other than that, I see another message is that the moment that you're about to be together and uh, be in union, reunited with your twin flame, somehow people from the past may just come back into your life, may come back into your TF life as well because they just like to create chaos and drama, I suppose, which really sucks. So you have, to, so you just have to be careful about that, okay? I'm seeing with the soulmate card and then the release your ex, I do feel for quite a lot of you, your ex was actually your soulmate, but but well, because this is a twin flame co connection reading, this soulmate connection that you had in the past, it was there to teach you a lot of lessons. And twin flames often teach lessons as well, but you, pal number two, you are one of the people that are actually meant to be together with your twin flame physically because you do have a soul mission that is already being promised to you and your twin flame together and you do have to do it side by side okay so yeah just just pay attention to that and if you are in separation with your twin flame then these two cards worth waiting for and express your love is a confirmation you will meet them again you will be reunited with them again and if you have never met your twin flame just yet just know they are definitely coming you do have a twin flame and it's worth waiting for and it's worth exploring this love in the future when it comes okay this is all about divine timing as well so that is your reading pile number two i hope this brings you a lot of clarity let me know down below and I will be back again. All right, so last one, pile number three. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, almost had a hiccup. <clears throat> oh, pile number two was intense. <clears throat> sorry, so let us take a look what messages can we know about your twin flame connection. So we have two cards from the magical mermaids and dolphins. And we have, oh, this is beautiful. We have stay optimistic, ooh, stay optimistic and positive energy. So, I feel for the majority of you, you are not in communication with your twin flame. You do know who your twin flame is, for sure. I do feel that you know who your twin flame is, you are in separation, or you have not been talking with each other for quite some time or just recently you had a breakup you had some type of fallout or maybe the tower moment that happened between you and them i feel for a lot of you you are in great pain and sadness and disappointment and more that shock like shock energy right now you're like yeah yeah you're in that energy and right now you're you're questioning if this connection is meant to be or not what should i do should i give up should i move on or not should i date other people or not this card is saying that you 
your your spirit guides they want you to still stay optimistic about this connection because this is meant to be okay whether you will eventually end up with this person in marriage or not this connection will still continue spiritually and also physically okay now here's the thing i feel that for some few of you who pick this pile you may be dealing with a person that may feel or may act like a twin flame but they're actually not really 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 your twin flame and i know this is a bit of a weird energy it's a bit of a weird energy but okay i i suppose like i'm picking up your energy because i feel some of you are thinking and wondering if you may have two twin flames like legit so please let me know down below in the comments if you ever have those thoughts because i feel that yeah i don't know how to say this i'm just really picking up the energy that at one point you wonder if you could have two twin flames or not because you are dealing with possible two people here that feel that act so similar it's just weird and you're not really sure which one is my twin flame because both of them feel really similar and familiar to you between both of them and now you're confused and now you don't know what to do in this connection so if you do resonate with that then you need to make a decision <laughs> and that decision is about your own love life that's what i'm picking up from your spirit guides if you ever feel confused between two people then that is an indication that maybe you need to pull back your power and focus in your own life, okay? And until then, you are able to see things from a better and clear perspective, that's when you can make a better decision, okay, for some of you. If this doesn't resonate that much, then this may not be the pile for you or this can also be an indication that you may be dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame okay and i feel the energy between the soulmate and this twin flame is really mixed up in this whole pile number three and i don't know why my dog just barked way back there in the background <laughs> maybe you have a dog maybe your twin flame have a dog so anyway let's take a look at more cards over here ah yes look at that we have the card that says ask like i said you are questioning this connection you have two people in mind even when you try to deny it maybe somebody is trying to get into this picture what i'm trying to say is that you may be trying to focus and ask on this specific person for this reading but somehow another person tries to come into the picture and i'm sensing their energy okay because like i said for a lot of you you may be dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame at the same time and maybe you don't even realize it and i feel that you experience a lot of distraction lately in your life in your own love life there's just a lot of confusion here i don't know how to say this because i feel your energy i feel so conflicted i feel confused there's so much distraction it's like i don't know where to go i don't know what to choose and so what you can do for yourself so that you can have clarity is for you to choose joy in your own life okay your spirit guides want you to to focus on what makes you happy in your own life now because again they're saying that if you try too hard to find the answers right now and yet you're not receiving it that means it's just not the perfect time just yet for you to know why because you need to focus more on your own life there is a very specific and beautiful life purpose a soul mission that you have that you need to focus on right now for your life and your spirit guides don't want you to procrastinate or delay that okay now let's take a look at more details from this card over here we have calling in your soulmate what did i say a lot of you are dealing with a soulmate here okay and then we have retreat 
and then we have separation what did i say you just need to take a bit of break now i feel for some few of you you may already watch another pile before maybe pile number one I'm, I'm picking up pile number one number two but i think pile number one or maybe you when you were trying to pick the piles you were conflicted between this pile and another pile either way another pile was also mentioning about a soulmate connection so yeah we have calling in your soulmate retreat and then separation so I feel that what your spirit guides want you to know right now in this present moment is more about your own journey, your own spiritual journey, your own love life, your social, your social life and your career as well because that is your priority. And I know that we always want to know about our love life. We always want to know what's going on with that person. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Things like that all of you know blah 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 things like that we are always curious and there's nothing wrong but this is the moment for you to pull away okay to pull back because your spirit guides are telling you that girl or dude this is getting a little bit too much you may be thinking about this connection way too much way too obsessively way too desperately that is getting way into your mind and it's messing up your focus in your own life because you do have a very specific focus for your life purpose you need to do now other than that okay other than that i pick up the moment that you're about to reunite or know exactly who your twin flame is somebody from the past may try to come back again and grab your attention Okay, and I'm picking up with this card, calling in your soulmate. Somebody from your past may try to call you, message you, or ask you out on a date. And this person from the past is your soulmate, okay? But they're not your twin flame. They are your soulmate, and they want to come back. But you're like, oh no, I don't know what to do because I'm in a twin flame connection now, and I'm not sure what to do. I don't know which, you know... <laughs> option i don't know what to choose i don't know who to choose i cannot make a decision now if you're feeling a lot of that anxious feeling it's time for you to retreat okay here separation you have been separated from yourself for some time and that is one of the reasons why you're not able to make a decision because you don't even have any clarity you don't have stability in your own life that's why you retreat okay this is the time for you to retreat back your power back your focus and focus on your own self growth and personal empowerment you may literally need to take a, a a trip or just a short vacation so you can clear up your mind and take a fresh new air somewhere else okay that's what i see and it's time for you to connect back and to detach yourself from this connection because you have been trying too hard to connect you with a specific somebody or with this twin flame connection which in the end you actually lose that focus in your own self okay so that's it for pile number three i hope this brings you a lot of clarity and information and whatnot let me know down below in the comments and i will definitely be back okay i will see you again